Steam OS 3.3 is finally here and what an update it is. This is an absolute mammoth update for both the Steam client and Steam OS in general. I'm not going to go through all of the updates here line by line, but I am going to call out the biggest updates here, which are going to make your life a lot easier and some great quality of life improvements here. So let's dive straight in with the first item here. They've separated out the OS channel so we can actually choose the preview channel directly from this menu now and it's much more clear about which channel you're in. The software updates will now only show for the track that they're in, providing they've been tagged with the right channel of course. As you'll see that there's a beta update there, but it is marked as the stable channel up in the top right, hence it's showing in the stable channel. Now a huge improvement for me, this was really really annoying, I don't know about you guys, but there is now a clear option for the search bar. This seems like such a tiny thing, but great quality life improvement. With the keyboard down, you can now hit Y or the X in the search bar to clear that search bar. You no longer have to delete everything that you have entered. Massive improvement for me and a great quality of life update there. Display adaptive brightness has now been re-enabled, so you can now toggle the adaptive brightness in the display menu in the settings. And they've also added the schedule night mode also in the display menu so you can now schedule your night mode automatically. Keyboard has had a whole host of updates supporting Chinese, Japanese, Korean and a few other keyboards. They've also added the iBus support for desktop mode for the keyboards as well and supposedly fixed some desktop issues around the keyboard showing so we'll be testing that out over some time to see whether that Steam keyboard actually pops up. Achievements and guides are now available in-game via the in-game menu. So that menu is now filling up with great options and you can get to these directly from the games. On to the big one then. Halo Infinite, is it now working in the stable channel? Well there is a GE Proton 728 update as well, but this doesn't work with Halo Infinite. So if you do want to play Halo Infinite, it does not work on the default Proton and it does not work on 28. However, if you go with the GE Proton 727, it's working like a charm. So you no longer have to be in the preview channel to get this working. You don't need to delete videos. And they've also fixed the issue where the symbols and numbers were not showing up in the login window. So if you download GE 727, you will now be able to play the Steam version of Halo Infinite, both campaign and multiplayer, perfectly fine on your Steam Deck with no additional enhancements. If you need to know how to update your GE Proton versions, there's a link to the guide that we have on the channel in the description below. Those are the biggest updates that I feel from the 3.3 update. Let us know in the comments below if there's something absolutely huge that's made your life so much easier with this 3.3 update, or you're just great to see the improvements that just keep coming. Don't forget you can also follow us on Twitter and Discord using the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.